Your voice, your opinion, your community. Fact TV, free speech, protected. Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your June 2021 reading with myself, Rachel Navy, a.k.a. Villaggio Strega, for those of you who do not know me. Would like to follow me on Facebook as Villaggio Strega or TikTok. Uh, all my information is either linked in the description below or the about section of my channel. Uh, that said, I'm doing your mid-month readings. I think I'm going to do the challenge, the advice, the potential outcome uh, for each week here for you guys and uh, see what other messages we get in in between and if you're wondering about the space i'm over here at the local fact tv station um so hello to community members in this area and uh, for those of you who do not know my reading style i take flippers and jumpers which means i let the cards kind of come out as they would like to and then i will of course put my hands on them to get a confirmation uh, as to where they should be placed how they should be placed and anything else it is that um, I should know as a reader. I'll let messages kind of come at me intuitively here as I proceed. So keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading. Will not resonate for everyone. Uh, but keep what does and leave the rest. There's always an opportunity uh, to pick up something along the way, whether it's your sign and your sun sign, your moon sign, or your cross watcher uh, for that. So. Gemini, looks like it's going to be a busy month for you guys. Pretty blessed month, too, by the, by the looks of things, especially here at the start. Um, I'm starting with Gemini, too, because it is Gemini season. Operator, reverse, please. Yeah, okay. And, um, yeah, looking good so far, guys. I'll break this down here in a moment for you, week by week. See what we get. Two more, please. Gemini on the collective and hey guys uh, don't forget to like and subscribe I do appreciate all of your uh, support to my channel uh, as it is and uh, click that button for uh, the bell button there for for updates as to when I'm posting and uh, you'll get them right as they are uploaded so upright or reverse upright yes Right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Well, let's break it down. Again, challenge, advice, potential outcome for each week for the month of June here, Gemini. I'm starting out with the moon card energy as your first uh, challenge headed into the month. Moon card energy is all about um, secrets being revealed, things being illuminated in the dark, things you don't see coming or you kind of had a feeling that there was something going on there underneath the surface, but you weren't quite sure. Those things are about to crop up. Um, again, it's a secret, so it may involve something in regards to like your hopes, your dreams, or an enemy even, perhaps. It's Pisces energy, uh, so you could be dealing with a Pisces individual or, or have it somewhere, uh, it's nighttime, so have it somewhere in like your seventh house along those lines here, um, uh, Gemini, as it were. But the challenge of this is uh, definitely using your intuition in regards to the situation, uh, as it's an intuitive place that it's coming from. So you want to make sure you gather facts uh, before you take any action towards that. I got a feeling it's it's something in regards to your finance, though, this first week here, Gemini, because you have the you have the Page of Pentacles out next. Page of Pentacles energy is all about someone who. Uh, is taking their time with things. They're slow, they're cautious, but they're very, very generous. Uh, it's a new opportunity. Messages will be coming in. That is what, also what the page and the knights represent, is some new opportunity or messages coming in. But this in particular is regarding your finance uh, or time management, as it were, for you. Perhaps a new employment situation, a uh, new sort of abundance coming in with this current energy. Uh, but it's present nonetheless, and it's something something very innocent, something very new. Uh, again, go with your gut is really what I'm I'm getting from this combination of things between your challenge and your advice. With that, your potential outcome is beautiful. You've got the Sun card energy. That's the the happiest card of the deck. That's the the joyousness. That's the celebration. That's that warm uh, energy, vitality, inspiration. 
uh, union even of sorts, that's your say yes card. So whatever uh, this first week has to offer you, Gemini, again, you're going with your instincts, new opportunities, especially with your finance, say yes to it. That's a blessing headed your way for sure. Uh, that's going to kind of like set you up financially for the rest of the month, it looks like here as well. Uh, second week of challenges, again, those messages coming in, they're fast moving though. This is the Eight of, eight of Wands energy. Uh, eight of Wands is when things kind of catch you off guard. You're not sure where the messages are coming from. You're not sure why it's happening. So you got to change your perception a little bit. Uh, you've got to make sure that you... Um, uh, change your position in order to see things clearly uh, before taking any action on a situation is really what the eight of eight of uh, wands is as a challenge. You want to make sure you have all your information before you go making any decisions or you respond to anything. This is also things like text messages coming in, emails coming in, but they're kind of like out of nowhere. And again, you, you, you weren't anticipating it. Uh, may, may have you feeling a little like apprehensive and like whoa moment there for a minute too. Your advice is to keep things all in balance with a two of uh, pentacles energy. Uh, it's, it's about that opportunities that are you're making a decision or you're weighing a decision on. And certainly there is going to be one opportunity uh, that is better than another with this card's energy. He's, he's kind of sitting there uh, juggling, almost like a gesture, like ju juggling. But in the background here, we have these choppy waters and they represent emotional stuff. So while this may be like some opportunity financially uh, that some of you are kind of like juggling or toying with the idea with, uh, there will be uh, an emotional aspect or an emotional component to it. So, so in other words, the choice you're making, uh, the advice to take during this time is really try and figure out what's going to be the most successful for you, especially if you're dealing with like some more emotional attachments uh, of the time or more emotional things going on kind of in the background for you. Make sure it's stable, safe, and secure. And indeed, your potential outcome, whatever it looks like, the, the one of the opportunities for you is definitely going to bring you that, that finance in again. This is the king of, king of uh, pentacles energy. He is about, um, again, stable, secure foundation. Again, very cautious. The wonderful thing about the king of pentacles energy is is that when he speaks, it's a very calm energy. He's, he's one of those uh, that when they speak, it's not like, like shop talk at all. It's not, not little short words. It's, they have something with wisdom behind it. They have something to offer you uh, in that way. Very practical, again, very abundant, knows how to save for a future, knows how to, how to be generous with their time, their money, uh, secure a solid foundation. Uh, very abundant, abundant living is kind of like the choice as these messages are coming in for you, uh, the direction you're headed again. So beginning of half of the month, it really looks like it's really focused on your finance, uh, doing what is best for you emotionally and, and grabbing an opportunity for sure. Second half of the month, we have the need for recuperation. Of course, why? Because you've just been going on through, going on the previous weeks with all these exciting new news and an opportunity so you may be a little bit tired you have the four of uh swords energy out four of swords is the card yes of rest and recuperation uh, but it's also about letting go of drama letting go of things thoughts ideas worries and such uh, maybe that have been like you've been hanging on to for some time it may be that that final moment where you're like oh gosh thank you i finally have what i need to feel stable secure and uh build that solid foundation certainly plan for the future investments as it were as well but this is that reprieve the stained glass window here is the optimism it's the hope coming through uh, as you get a peaceful night's sleep it looks like uh, advice though you may have to stand up for yourself in a, in a certain particular uh, situation there's a little bit of a, uh, a locker room battle going on as it were a little bit of a, a quarrel uh, it starts out very harmless but it kind of takes a turn so whether it's your partner your uh, social social environment as it is um, this here is, is like a little conflict that kind of crops up towards the um, third week here. Um, the advice is, is this started with like a miscommunication and it's easily remedied by more miscommunication. It's kind of like you throw your hands up and just be like, okay, 
this this took an unexpected turn for me. Here's really where I'm coming from, uh, is the advice in regards to that. And of course, we have the high priestess energy out for your uh, potential outcome. She is moon card energy. So again, this is about secrets being revealed, uh, just like just like the moon. Uh, but she's a little bit more than that. She's about the knowledge and wisdom, keeping things in harmony. Uh, again, high feminine, psychic, intuitive energy. You could be dealing with an individual feminine energy that has those kind of qualities to a Gemini. Or it could simply be that you yourself uh, need to go with your gut again in regards to a certain situation and really try and dig deep and figure out what's going to bring you the most harmony and balance in your life. Um, it's kind of kind of weighing that cognitive self of emotional versus rational as well. When it comes to week four, <laughs> when it comes to week four, I see the change. Like I see what was building over here finally happening down here because you're ending a cycle for sure you're moving forward we have the six of swords energy uh out here as it were and six of swords is that energy of voyage with baggage uh in other words you you may find yourself it's time to relocate you may find that it is time to um uh let others help you uh, along the way, maybe you're going on a little vacation as it is, uh, but you're, you're not fully letting go of those thoughts. That's why the help is there. This is why it's a challenge is because in order for you to truly rest and recover and move on from where you've been, you got to let go of the past. And this is really what that Six of Swords is representing is you moving forward, you letting go of some sort of emotional aspect of your life here, Gemini, in order to move forward into something more beautiful. Uh, you know that first week is the, is the golden opportunity for you all as it is. I've got a uh, judgment card energy. Excuse me. No, this is lover's card energy out for you which is your card you came into your own reading here gemini and just a reminder too guys that uh the major arcanas are are really the most important or the key points of the readings so far you have the moon you have you have the sun card you have the high priestess and now you have your own card the lover's card energy Lover's card energy, especially when it's in your advice section, is really about what, what, what's in your soul, what's to the heart of the matter. It's making that choice. It used to be known as the choice card. Uh, it's making that choice of what is, what is it that really resonates with you? Is it another individual? Are you calling in your soulmate? Are you looking at that twin flame? Um, certainly there's the potential for that. Or are you doing the work that truly satisfies you? It satisfies your soul uh, as it is. And that's, I think, why you need this little break here is because maybe what, you're, what you've been doing, the actions you've been doing, Gemini, may not match what is truly at your heart. Um, you may have found yourself uh, in, in the previous month or previous months kind of just doing what you got to do to get by because it feels like, okay, it's what you should be doing. It's the right thing you should be doing. Uh, but it wears you out. It's kind of like, like the crab that needs to just kind of like go or the snake that needs to kind of go and hide for a little while, have their quiet time energy. So that way they can come back new. And that's really what's going on with you towards the end of the month here is you've, you've taken a little reprieve. You've gone with your instinct. You're like, I'm not going to argue about this anymore, whatever it was here in week three. And you are transform transforming your energy, Gemini. This is death card energy. For those of you who, who are concerned with the, the death card, no, it's not an, always about a physical death. It's about transmuting your energy. It's about transforming yourself um, to a higher plane of existence, transforming yourself to, to a higher purpose, to a more authentic state of being. Uh, to being your own unique self is really what it's, it's about here with the death card's energy. Now, that's a scary process. The death doesn't come with, you know, sunshine and roses attached to it. It comes with, with images of those people who are, are somewhat afraid. It's intimidating. And what I'm seeing in this reading is, is the choices you make, um, while they're scary, right? While it might be scary to make these changes and, and to kind of say, okay, I have faith in this situation. Maybe you've never done that before, Gemini. 
Uh, what it's really indicating to me though is that this is the best possible road for you to take at this time because you want growth, you want maturity, you want mastery. So then you can move on to the next thing. And that's what this death card is representing here. Uh, you've had the calling, you're making the choice. Maybe it's a relationship coming into you. Uh, there's definitely the finance, the career aspect coming in uh, at the beginning of the month. But after, after a little bit of rest, recovery, uh, you're like, okay, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to transform now, just like a butterfly. That's where we're at. So, uh, let's clarify this up a little bit. I pulled the final five from the good tarot deck. Okay. There's one. <laughs> See what we get. And just a reminder too, uh, the good tarot does not read reversals. So, boy, there's a lot to choose from. Okay. Let's see what we get. Yes or no? Yes. Very strong. Yes. Yes. King of fire, justice card energy. Yes or no? Yes. Yes or no? No. Yes or no? No. Yes or no? Yes. Yes or no? No. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So that said, Gemini, let's see what this is about. We've got justice, king of fire, messengers of water. Okay, so we know we know something emotional is going on. We know maybe somebody's reaching out to you. We've got the tower moment, beautiful. And uh, we've got the nine of earth, nine of pentacles. Okay. Okay. Justice card energy, Libra energy, for those of you who are interested, is about letting go, ending of karmic cycles. We see that with the death card there. Uh, we see it in the high priestess energy truly as well. Uh, but you're facing some realities, perhaps, Gemini, that you weren't willing to look at before. And now it's kind of like staring in your face. And a divine saying like, okay, you need to deal with this now uh, in order to move forward, in order to have that growth in your life, that stability in your life, you need to deal with these, these cycles of things, these, these personality traits, these decisions you make, whatever it is. Um, it's going to bring you back into balance, truly, uh, is what it's about. That's the, the end goal of it, is how do you bring that balance into your life? You're looking at that with the Two of Pentacles energy as well. Uh, you've got the King of Fire, beautiful energy to have. That's leadership, that's strategizing. King of Fire is a wonderful energy of creative sparks, of planning, of uh, vitality, pursuing your passions, pursuing your dreams. What is it you've always been thinking? thinking about uh, but you but you never never really did or wanted to do kind of thing is what he's about he's also about being honorable uh, if this is pertaining to a relationship which in some instances for some of you Gemini's it definitely is uh, he's the energy of, of integrity he's the energy of uh, honorability especially towards his partner and most of all with himself um, he strategizes puts his creative plans into action and that's what you're also being called to do with that messengers of water this is comparable to the knight of cups energy uh, but messengers of course is is those messages coming in there may be somebody like again this eight of uh wands energy over here uh the gemini card this lover's card energy there may be somebody reaching out to you uh saying like hey you know i really value you i really appreciate what you're doing i've always loved you something along those lines it's an unexpected message an emotional message you get and or it's a message you get that really satisfies your soul Gemini. Uh, it, it's, it brings you comfort to hear. Uh, it could be the ideal lover for you, uh, which is why you're like, okay, do I make this choice now? Do I do it later? Like what kind of transformation uh, are you going for uh, here? Is it your finance or is it your, your romantic side? Then you have the tower. <laughs> tower is, is that moment, that profound decision, that crisis point in our lives um, where just when you think something's stable, secure, and mastered, right? Uh, the divine steps in and says, wait a minute, um, I got something better for you. So it's a little bit of discomfort we experience for a moment in order to elevate ourselves, in order to get on more sure footing. And if you were in a bad relationship, this is the breakup that sets you forth on a new path that says, wait a minute, I have self-worth, I have mastery. Uh, there is things I want and desire for myself, and now I can do them, and you can especially do them because you have the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles energy is the energy of uh, self-reliance. It's independence, Gemini. 
It's you making that money, again, that opportunity that brings you that stable, secure finance, so that way you can treat yourself now and then. You can have a more, uh, maybe not luxurious, but you can have a lifestyle that supports your basic needs as well as your uh, you know, occasional splurge as it is. Um, this often is associated with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It certainly is one of my favorite cards too. Um, the Nine of Earth, Nine of Pentacles energy is also about someone who, you know, spends a lot of time in the garden. They spend a lot of time on nurturing themselves, nurturing the environment. They may have like a lot of plants in their home, uh, a lot of greenery, or maybe you yourself, Gemini, are a gardener, um, you know, some sort of steward of the earth even as it is. Uh, and you may have pets uh, uh, in particular. You may, may find more comfort in, in creatures and animals than you do other, other human companionships. Uh, as it is. So part of that transformation is there. I'm going to grab one more here, guys, from uh, the Ganesha deck. I think I'll save the, the crystal cards for another time, uh, but I'm really drawn to this one for you at the moment here, uh, Gemini. And then I'll read that from the book, so that way we have a real clear uh, interpretation of what it is Spirit's trying to say. Okay, prosperity. <laughs> Name of the game is prosperity this month, Gemini. That is very clear now. Let me just go to the page. Your prosperity, your abundance. Okay, I'll hold this up for you guys. You have the ability to manifest prosperity into your daily life. Gemini Ganesha asks that you work on integrating and accepting the spiritual truth that you create your own reality. Try understanding this makes all the difference when it comes to prosperity. You are responsible for creating and generating your success. It is your divine right to do so. A job in and of itself does not bring you riches. Abundance is more than a job or having money. In an attitude, it's about living with appreciation and gratitude daily for all the blessings that you are bestowed uh, on your life. It is easy to forget and neglect the gifts that you are receive that you receive daily. After day after day from the universe, the divine, the source, the creator, one of the, your promised gifts is your divine ability to generate the success you want in life by using your spiritual talents. These are abilities that are innate within you. You were born with them. They could include writing, speaking, creative expression, your business ability. Utilize your gifts. You are being given an opportunity to notice and develop them and begin offering them to the world. You might like to start writing a prosperity journal. Call on Ganesha to work with you on this. Imagine that you would be the perfect day. Imagine that what would be the perfect day for you to describe in great detail in your journal. Involve all of your senses to make it as real as possible. See, hear, feel, smell, taste, and touch the experience in your mind and heart to help bring into it into fruition. This is the abundance card. Ganesha is reminding you that you have everything you need now. It is time to claim your abundance. Blessed be. I am going to pull one more for you just because I feel like I, I want a little more lightheartedness, uh, which is what the crystal energies tend to be. So let's take a look at that here real quick. This may, this may represent a card or, a, or not a card, a crystal you may want to throw in your pocket uh, here for the month, Gemini. Definitely some adventuring at the beginning of the month, maybe even some citrine too, to bring you that joy, that luck, that abundance, uh, you know, whether it's material or not here for you, if you're getting a new, new employment. Yes or no? Yes or no? Taking them both, okay. Uh, Moldavite. Moldavite. What is it? Uh, Moldavite is a glossy, pale to dark green tekatite formed by a meteorite impact about 15 million years ago in what is now Germany. It's trippy AF and it's expensive. It is really expensive because it's being overmined. Uh, Moldavite is nearly depleted. The new one out there, uh, new tekatite out there, um, I hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, tekatite. 
uh, out there is like Rain of Fire, I believe. I know there's a, there's a shop up in Enfield you can pick it up at. Is is my familiarity with it if you're looking for the Tekatite family. But nonetheless, uh, spiritual seekers. Who needs it? Spiritual seekers, extraterrestrials trapped in human bodies, ayahuasca enthu enthusiasts, and Aquarians. Where to put it? In the middle of your forehead during meditation. Altars, alien landing sites. Uh, when to use it? When you feel too grounded or too disconnected from spirit. Moldified is all about operating at a higher frequency. When you are looking for more wow or whoa uh, in your life, on the meditation cushion and beyond, explode your perceptions with Moldavide. That's a big. Uh, let's see. It says transform your, your life on earth, too, is the key, key reading to that. We've got Jet here. I hardly ever see Jet. Uh, claim your space. What is it? Earthy and grounding. This is true black mineraloid verity of cool is an ancient fossilized driftwood. Who needs it? Empaths and witchy types. I know a lot of Geminis like that, actually. Uh, where to put it? To clear a physical space of your body uh, of, of united of uninvited vibes. Let me say that one again. To clear physical space or your body of uninvited vibes, swipe jet over the affected area and tell toxic energy, spirits, tensions to peace out. When to use it? When asking for guidance from elsewhere, think seance, guided meditation, hardcore tarot session, jet can take the edge off of high vibe stones like moldavite, Hello. And serpentine, very, very plentiful in Vermont, is serp sep uh, serpentine. And is a wise old friend to bring, bring as, a, as your plus one, plus one whenever your triggers are sure to be on the guest list. Claim your space and transform your life on earth here, Gemini. I think that just about does it for your reading here, guys. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Blessed be.